Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? What's going on? What's next for Showtime Sean Porter, man? What's next? I really believe after that performance on September 28th, Sean Porter might be the toughest guy at 147. He was already one of the toughest guys to fight, one of the toughest guys to beat because he's so rough, he's so rugged, he tough, strong, physically strong, and he showed his boxing skills on on Saturday night versus Earl Spence Jr. He showed that he could take it to the next level when he want to. You dig what I'm saying? And he he pretty much showed a little bit of everything in that fight. It's literally nothing that Sean Porter can't do. He also displayed some punching power in that fight. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really believe that Sean Porter elevated his game that night. And, you know, this is a new and improved Sean Porter. So he was already one of the toughest fighters in the division. But now I believe he just became the toughest guy to beat in the division. I didn't say the best. I didn't say the most skilled. The toughest fighter to beat. And I think he makes anybody work for their money when they get in there versus Sean Porter. Um, what's next for Sean, man? I think it's really going to be hard for him to get a fight. It's going to be really tough for him to get a fight, man. Um I think he, I like his chances versus Manny Pacquiao. I like his chances versus Terrence Crawford. I like his chances in a rematch versus Keith Thurman. A lot of people thought he won the first fight. I felt like Keith Thurman edged it out. Uh, I like his chances against um, anybody at the division, bro. It's going to be tough for him to find a fight, though. After what he just did on September 28th, man, it's going to be tough for, for, for Sean Porter to find a fight. They're going to look at it as high risk low reward you know what i'm saying now he did he did participate in a successful pay-per-view match you know which could up the ante on the money that you can earn fighting sean porter but again it's gonna be tough for this man to secure a fight um i'm gonna tell you what i would like to see i would love to see after terrence Crawford fights who he's about to fight next uh the green machine you know what i'm saying i feel like sean porter and terrence Crawford should get in there next you dig what I'm saying? That'll be a great matchup, um, you know. And then, shoot, I mean, it's he got a lot of options, bro. I just I don't know who's gonna be willing to get in there with him. I know Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter said they friends and all this. You know, they 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 really don't want to fight each other. But Kenny Porter just went on 78 Sports TV. Shout out to 78 Sports TV. He interviewed Kenny Porter yesterday and kenny porter said they open to fight in terrence crawford if they can't get the rematch with earl spence they open to fight in terrence crawford so um i'm just really interested to see what's the next move for sean porter that dude showed me not only is he a good fighter not only is he an excellent athlete but sean porter is a great fighter bro the dog the toughness the skill the versatility the awkwardness the bro the brother can do it all you dig what I'm saying? So put some respect on Sean Porter's name, and I can't wait to see who he get in there with next. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh, as far as the rematch with Earl Spence Jr., I, I definitely want to see a rematch. I actually think the rematch with those guys is going to end up happening happening at 154 as opposed to 147. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Contender Regime Boxing, I holler at y'all boys, man.